take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Most Roku routers have a default IP address of 192.168.1.1. The IP address is required when accessing the Roku router's web interface to configure it. You can also check the instructions on how to figure out your Roku router IP if you are connected to the router's network. Let's help you make your mark. If you've used the Roku app before and you want to connect to your Roku device manually, tap Settings in the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap Switch Roku device in Settings. Then tap Connect manually on the Roku device's screen. Let's help you make your mark. To change the IP address on you the popular streaming box, you can simply connect to IVAC VPN. If you are having a problem with it popping up, even though it is on the same network, you can enter the IP address manually. To do so, follow these steps. Download and install the Roku app. Let's help you make your mark. How to reset Roku without a remote. Press the physical reset button for at least 10 seconds. Make sure that your streaming player is on. A blinking indicator light will indicate that your device is performing a factory reboot. Once there is no longer any light, your device has completed resetting. Make your mark, take our lead. Roku remotes are mostly interchangeable, as long as you have the right Roku player. Roku remotes are split into two types, IR and Enhanced, and each one only works with certain Roku players. IR remotes can control any compatible Roku player, without the need for pairing. Take our lead. To connect Roku to Wi-Fi without a remote, you'll need to set up a mobile hotspot on one device. Download the Roku app to use as a remote on another device. Then use the Roku app to connect your Roku to the same mobile hotspot network. Here's a full step-by-step -step breakdown. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.